hello guys welcome back to my channel how you guys doing okay in this video we are going to be making um a chain bag it's actually a chain bag um the video i posted before the last video i think i explained how to make woven chain we are going to be implementing it in this video okay but before i proceed um i've already cut out my pieces and i want to quickly um explain what i did here okay so for this side of the bag if you remember in the last video i explained how i came about this you can check it out but in this video i want the top to be wider than this part okay so that's exactly what i did here so check out our previous video for you to understand what i actually did here okay in some cases some people prefer it if this um, part of the um, bag is actually um wider than this part but this particular v um, bag i want here to be wider i didn't mention the um pattern drafting for the flap i'm going to mention it in this video so for the pattern drafting for the flap remember we said the height of our body is nine inches okay and the width is what is 12 inches but it's not going to be exactly 12 inches by the time we finish drafting it out now the flap comprises of three parts we have the first part this part a part b and part c part b is the top base part a is the part that we lap on the body of the bag that the front part of the bag part b is where you are going to connect your chain the handle of the bag why part c is the part you are going to attach to the body itself that the back of the bag okay you know the this body part have back and front which is these two pieces that we have here okay so this part c is going to be joined you are going to be joining it to the back now for the measurement from here to this place is what is seven inches from here to this place is seven inches okay why from here to this place which is the top bit is 1.5 inches from here to this place is one inch one inch 1.5 inches and of course seven inches okay now if you remember in the on the body of the bag we slanted our bag which means these two parts they are not equal we slanted it by 0 0.5 inches here and 0 0.5 inches here so you are going to also slant this part by that same 0 0.5 inches you come here and you, you are going to mark half an inch you're going to mark half an inch here as well once you've done that you take your ruler and you're going to connect it from the half an inch down to meet with the edge of the what flap so let's do that and we do the same thing for the other side as well so now that we've done that this is what is going to what look like okay so you take your um your scissors and you're going to trim this out so let's do that okay so we are done with the cutting the next thing is to start coupling the bags like applying gum and everything okay the, the material we are using i have a silver chain here yeah? i have eyelet then of course i have my back stand i have back stand then i have my magnetic snap as well okay for the lining i'm going to be using velvet this is what i'm going to be using for the lining and the, this is the fabric that i'm going to be using for this um project it's advisable to take note of the upper part and the um, lower part so you don't make mistake now this is top you can mark it like that so that you will not make mistake okay so i'm going to wrap this now with my african print same thing with the flap same thing with the base and of course the side so guys i've wrapped everything i've wrapped everything i'll just show you how i wrap the side this is how i wrap the side okay so after applying after placing your anchor fabric yeah this is what you are going to do 
Okay, so you take your scissors, you cut it like this. This is how you are going to cut it just slightly on both sides. Okay, cut off that excess, cut off the excess, then you fold it like this, you fold it like this. I hope you saw that. You fold it like this and you fold it down. Okay, so once you've done that, you come down and you fold it up just like this. Okay. Then you fold the other side. So we are good to go. Okay, guys. So coming up next, if you look at the body, you will see that I didn't wrap up the base part of the body. I just wrapped up the top and the edges. Same thing with the other one. So for the base i wrapped everything up okay you can decide to fix your back stand first before coupling it either ways you are good to go so the next thing i'm going to do did the, the uh, body one which is the front you have to connect the base you place it on you can see what i'm showing you the excess fabric here right so you place it directly after the excess fabric directly directly when you place it directly make sure the fabric is smooth so it doesn't affect what you are doing you'll be placing it like this to make it easy just apply gum yeah no need to apply here yeah, so it doesn't mess up the whole work just apply gum at the tip of this place don't let it get to the edges okay yeah as well so i'll do that off camera okay guys so i've applied gum here you'll be placing it like this okay like I said, make sure the fabric is not folded. So directly from the edge. Just like this. Okay. Directly on the edge. Okay. So by the time you want to place it, this is what you will have. Okay. So this is what it will look like. So same thing for the other side. So this is what it's going to look like. Right? That way we can chop off that excess or you tuck it in when you are about sewing it. So the next thing is to take it to the sewing machine. You are going to sew it straight down, straight down. The next thing is to punch a hole on the four points. After that, you are going to be inserting your back stand which is this you are going to insert your back stand once you finish puncturing the four holes so i've inserted the back stand okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to fix my magnetic snap on the front part of our body of on the front part of the body sorry it's not our body okay i'm going to be fixing it okay remember the actual height of our um, flap is seven inches excluding the base and the other extension that we added to um, connect to the back so i'm going to um, measure my seven inches i'm going to mark where my seven inches is going to be now so my seven inches from here down is right here okay seven inches from here down is right here okay now from that seven inches you know we are going to be fixing the magnetic snap i'm going to come in by one inch yeah i already marked it actually one inch so i'll come in again by one inch then i will go up by one inch i want to go up by one inch and not half an inch the reason why i'm going up by one inch is because if i use half an inch by the time i want to start sewing it around it might get stuck in the machine which is not really good so i'll, I'll go up by maybe okay let's just go up by 0 0.7 
you can still go up by one inch but i feel one inch might be too much so let's go up by 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 is right here make sure it's around that one inch if you are coming in so it should be here this is where we are going to be placing it okay placing our magnetic snap on the other side we came in by one inch you go up by what 0 0.7 the next thing is to take your magnetic snap okay the part of the magnetic snap we'll be fixing here is this very one okay so i'm just going to mark where i'm going to be fixing it which is right here okay i've marked it i'm just going to do the same thing here okay so i've done that next thing i'll punch a hole and i'll fix the snap all done so as you can see i've fixed the um snap magnetic snap for the front part of the bag the next thing we are going to do is to we are going to quickly take our lining place it down we are going to place it down on your table you take the body okay you place it on the lining then you are going to trace out the part of the lining that you will need okay you just the best thing to do is to trace it out okay the best thing to do is to trace it out i'm just going to quickly do that tracing it out doesn't mean you are going to cut the exact um tracing it out doesn't mean it doesn't mean you are going to cut the exact okay because you have to leave allowance at the top and at the other side so i'm just tracing it so that we know where to fix my zipper where i'm going to sew my zipper because i want the bag to have an inner um zipper so as you can see i'm done tracing it the next thing i'm going to do is to is to cut it out making sure i leave allowance so i'm going to be leaving allowance while i'm cutting it so this one is going to be for the body now to fix the zipper what i'm going to do is i'm going to from this place i measure this place i traced i'm going to mark you know the actual height of our bag is nine inches so i'm going to mark nine inches nine inches is here right which means please i'm doing this from the back of the material which means this is where it's going to be right the next thing i'm going to do the line where i marked is showing at the front so there's no need to use shock to mark the front okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to locate where i want to fix my zipper to, to fix the zipper i want to come down by 1.5 or even 2 inches so i'm going to be fixing it by what by 2 inches okay so i'm going to be fixing the zipper this way the measurement from here to this point is now what 6.5 now apart from the 6.5 you want to know how deep your you want the pocket to be i want it to be deep by 10 inches sorry by 5 inches on fold on fold if i fold it, it's going to be 5 inches but in the actual length it's going to be 10 inches plus 1.5 inches allowance why the width remember the bag our bag width is what is um 12 inches now the width the zip the kind of zip you are using will determine um the width so as you can see i've fixed the zipper the next thing i'm going to do remember where we fix the magnetic snap which means this part of our material is going to be somewhere here right it's not going to be it's not going the line is not going to be here it's going to start like this from the back not from the part we fix that um magnetic snap okay but before we do that we need to fix our lining here and here as well as well as the magnetic snap so i'm going to do that very quickly so for the fixing of the um lining for the flap i had to trace this um i have to trace it on the um lining part i trace it on the lining the next thing i'm going to do the same 0.7 inch 
inches I measured for the body, I'm going to come up and in. Remember, I have a line here. I'm sorry if it's not visible. So from, from that line, coming up by what? 0 0.7 inches. This is where my line is. This is where my line is. Okay. So I'm coming in by what? 0 0.7 inches. From that line, I'm coming in by 1 inch. Same thing for the other side. So I want to do a different method. On Before now, I normally use shipboard to connect it yet yeah, together. Like I just put shipboard on top of this plate. But this time around, I'm not going to be doing that. What I'm going to do is small pieces of shipboard for the sake of the magnetic snap. Apply gum on it. Just like this. Okay, not so much, just very little gum and place it on top of this place. Okay, now we've already traced it so it will penetrate from the other other part of it. So I'm just going to place it here. You can see that this DIY is completely different from the other ones that we've been doing. So what I'm going to do next is to mark where I want the magnetic snap to be. Which is from where we mark. You can see where we marked already. It penetrated. So I'm just going to place my magnetic snap in between like this. And mark where I want to puncture the hole. As you can see, I've inserted the magnetic snap and it gave it stability. That the ship but gave it stability. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to apply gum here and transfer it to the lining. For the side, I've already attached lining to it. I folded the upper part but for the side and the bottom part i'm going to trim off the excess lining so guys once you place the lining the next thing is to just fold the edges and pin it down for this side you're going to cut off the excess this is the upper part right you're going to cut off this excess okay so i'm just going to cut it off now You have to be very very careful so you don't mess up the Ankara fabric. This is it for the flap. For the body, just place it on the lining, making sure that this um flap, this same um, snap part is facing the other side. So just place it like this. According to the way you traced it before. Okay, so first thing first, apply gum yeah before you place it on the lining. So guys, I already added this. I've already um, placed my lining, but we are not going to be folding this side yet because we have to connect the flap. Remember this is the front, so we have to connect the flap to the back. Connecting the flap to the back is means placing it like this. Okay, so we are going we are going to mark one inch from this back. So you can take your ruler to just connect those two lines together. As a guide when you are sewing the when you are sewing the flap but before we attach the flap we are going to take this to the sewing machine and we are going to sew it like this all the way around before attaching it to this part of the bag guys as you can see i've sewn it the next thing i'm going to do is to fold this lining down we are actually supposed to do this before putting the lining sorry about that just fold it inside then you take this one and you are going to place it here just like this you can pin it down yeah you can pin it down you can also use gum to secure it together first before sewing whichever one works for you so once you've done that I'm going to sew this round now. To sew this, the first thing to do is to secure it down. We first secure it down by sewing it down. After securing it down, the next thing to do is to sew something like this, like a square. This is how you are going to be securing it down. Okay. Sorry that I'm not taking measurement while doing this. So you are just trying to create a square around it like this. I'm just trying to make sure the video is detailed enough. Okay. So 
I'm going to sew it according to the square that I just measured. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've attached the flap to it. The next thing I'm going to do now is to smoothen this place back and I'm going to fold it inward like this. Then I'll take it to my cylinder bed sewing machine, turn it like this, and I'm going to sew it straight. That, now, there are so many other ways to sew this. Some people prefer to sew this along with when they are sewing the flap. Do you get? So that way, when they finish sewing, they just turn it to the other side and sew. But for this video, I'm just going to fold it like this like this and i'm going to sew it straight down so i'm going to do that and i'm going to sew this place as well same thing for our side the side of the bag i'm going to stop this year stop this year we are almost done with our bag so now we've done what we are supposed to do we've trimmed off the excess lining same thing for the side the next thing we are going to do is to apply a little gum we are going to apply a little gum now at the edges okay we are going to apply a little gum at the edges just from here to the top from here to this place once we apply gum there we are going to also apply gum at the side as well all the way around excluding the top the next thing is to place it like this we are going to this, just wash closely please so i'll place it like this now pin it down Okay, just watch closely so you understand what we are doing. Then when I get to this part, when I get to this part, I'm just going to bend it like this. Can you see it? You can see now that it tallied with the base immediately. So you fold it just like that. Okay, making sure it tally with the base. I'm getting here, you are going to fold it like that as well. Uh oh. I'm getting here, you are going to fold it the same way. Hmm? Just bend it from that base. You can see it down to the tip. And take your clip and you clip it down. Same thing here. So you can see this is what it's going to look like by the time you finish attaching it. Okay, so the same thing you did here, that's the same thing you do for the other side. On the other hand, you can decide to start with the base by placing it on the base like this. Okay. You can decide to fix it from on the base first okay on getting here you just turn it like this i hope you can see what i'm doing you just turn it like this and go all the way around you take your clip clip that place down so it doesn't shift okay so this is what we are going to have and see that the bag will not be able to lap very very well this is what the side of the bag look like okay can you see it so the next thing you will do is to take this to your sewing machine i'm using a cylinder bed sewing machine you take it to the sewing machine and you are going to sew it all the way around all the way around and that's it okay guys as you can see we've sewn the side you can see this is what the side of the bag look like okay and this is what the inside looks like you can see it can stand on its own freely okay so the next thing we are going to do is to fix the eyelet for the bag to fix the eyelet all you have to do is um you already have your woven chain you can check a last video on how to do this okay so i have my eyelet this is what the eyelet looks like so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark where i want to fix the eyelet preferably you can use a pen to do this so i'm just going to come in by 2.5 inches 
I'm coming in by 2.5 inches, which means I'm going to be fitting it somewhere around here. Okay, same thing with the other side, 2.5 inches. Okay, I'm going to be fixing it somewhere around here. So I'll take my eyelet and I'm going to place it here. Remember, we are going to be fixing two eyelet. You can decide to fix it one year and one year, or you fix it one year and one year, whichever one is that is okay for you. But me, I'm going to be fixing one year and one year. I think that's how I would like mine to be. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to mark this part. Okay, that the first part that I'm going to be fixing the eyelet, and I'm also going to mark the other side. I'll do the same thing for the other side. So after marking it, I'm going to open this. I'm going to knock it like to punch out a hole here, here and here, and I'm going to fix the eyelet. So guys, I've already inserted the eyelet, and I've in, um, it started one of the um, woven chain already so some time ago I, when I made the um, woven chain video I thought I was going to show you guys how to close it so we have a woven chain here we are just going to push the chain inside pass it through the other eyelet Okay, just like this so once you've done that on getting to this point you want to make sure you leave like um let me remove this clip you want to make sure you leave like one in okay so you are going to mark where this chain stopped so you will know where to insert it and stop okay then from here you are go after opening it you are going to insert it inside like this taking note of where it actually stopped so you are going to insert it inside okay this is where it stopped right this is where it stopped so you just insert it inside and you stop there so after inserting it down to where you marked in this case you can either use your super glue or you take it to your sewing machine and you stop stitch this plate just to close it and make it secured. So in this case, I'm going to use my sewing machine and once I'm done, I will show you the finished result. So as you can see, I've already stop stitched it. Next needs to adjust the chain back to its original form. Okay. You adjust the chain back to its original form. But while you are arranging, don't forget you have to also close the chain that bring it together. You use the plier to use the plier to open it. Then the last chain you link it together. Okay, link it and close it immediately, just like this. So now you can see that the chain again is original form. So this is what our bag look like. This is the finish result of our bag. Okay. And we are done. Thanks so much guys for watching my video. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you have questions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. I'll see you in my next video.